There'll be a new sheriff in town. El Paso County Commissioners made that official today. Yeah, Bill Elder will become the interim sheriff on January 1st. Current Sheriff Terry Makita will retire December 31st. KRDO News Channel 13's Dana Molina joins us live outside the sheriff's office with more on the transition. Dana. Brianna James Sheriff elected Bill Elder now has full access to this building and to information at the office. He tells us he did a walkthrough today and he already has plans for when he takes over. El Paso County Commissioners call this a new day for the county. The staff over there at the Sheriff's Office, all the deputies are very excited to have some true leadership over there now. Commissioners passed a resolution to appoint Bill Elder as interim sheriff. He'll have that title for less than two weeks. On January 13th, he will be sworn in as El Paso County Sheriff. The first step is, is going to be for uh, my staff to begin uh, just getting acquainted with the operation today and making an assessment of what needs to happen, what, needs to, what changes need to be put in place and what issues need to be addressed. Elder wants to put behind some of what's happened here at the Sheriff's Office in the last several months. Current Sheriff Terry Makita is accused of having inappropriate relationships with three female employees and of misusing taxpayer money. It's an opportunity for us to move forward. We're actually working fairly hard at this point. Um, we think it's going to be a fairly smooth transition on the first. One of the things on tap for the office? bringing in a consulting firm. And they're going to come in and do a front to back, top to bottom assessment of the agency. They're going to tell us exactly where deficiencies lie and what we need to do to keep moving. Elder says that Sheriff Makita is having his personal office cleaned and painted in preparation for the transition. He tells us he has no direct contact with Makita, but that he is in regular contact with his staff. Live in El Paso County, Dana Molina, KRDO News Channel 13. All right, thank you, Dana.